So what's up guys, welcome to Rafa's Garage. If you haven't done so, please like, subscribe for more Celica content. Today, I'm working on the Celica. I need to uncover it, turn it on, and warm it up. I haven't turned it on in a week. Um, but a special request from you guys, I'm gonna show you how to bleed the system. I know it's a little complicated because you can't put cooling on the reservoir or you can't put cooling on the radiator only from the reservoir and you have to bleed the system. And a lot of people don't know how to bleed it so let's uncover this car and pop the hood So I already removed the plastic and I already removed the screw. The reservoir should come up very easy. Um, and it should go on this hook right here for the, for the hood. And then it should sit right here. And this is the reason why you need to lift it up. That way, um, gravity helps you have all the cooling flow into the engine. And like I said, if you raise up the car, it makes it even better. I'm not gonna do it. Mine's just kinda already bled. And this is the reason why you have to take off that screw for the intake manifold and this plastic um, because this hose is underneath the stock airbox. So after that, just fill it up, fill up your coolant to the full. Um, should take, it all depends if you flushed it completely. I believe it's 5.6 to 5.9. It varies from 1ZZ and manual and automatic. Um, don't know why open up the breather and then once you open up the breather and fill it up I'm gonna start up the car uh, which I am gonna do it uh, mine's is already bled if you do um, remove this this cooling right here is gonna go all the way down so basically I would have to bleed it again so once you turn it on you're gonna see um, cooling flow into it and still you and you're gonna see little bubbles coming out if you're seeing bubbles is because it's doing its job once this gets full with coolant you could tighten it up and when you turn on the car turn it on and put on your defroster and your heater full blast this will help bleed the system um, once it's turned on let it warm up let the fan kicks in and then once the fans turn off, keep it running for a little bit. That way the thermostat could open up and cooling could go inside the engine. Cause right now, if you just fill it up, you're only having um, cooling from only here and wherever these lines go, which is the radiator and up to the engine block. So you still have some places where you don't have coolant um, my recommendation is also while it's doing it um, and you could hear on this one squeeze squeeze the hoses that way you could help with the bleeding no air bubbles are staying in none of those hoses you got one right there another one right there so that's it So another thing, this car requires Toyota Red. Um, it's not actually red, it looks more like pinkish. Um, Toyota sells it about like 20 bucks in the gallon. Uh, O'Reilly's probably sends it, sells it for like 15, 10. Um, you could use there their as long as it's equivalent to Toyota's Red. Um, and that's about it. Um, once you're done, <clears throat> Once the fans had hit and everything and you have seen it get full, um, top it off and go for a test drive. You do know that when you're trying to warm it up, um, rev it up to 2500 for 5 seconds and then idle for 5 seconds for like 15 minutes. Uh, that's what the instruction says. I am going to put them on here and 
see if I could put them somewhere else where you could have access to them. That way you don't have to pause my video. Um, but it strictly says, let me see if I have it on my phone right now real quick. So once you're done, go for a test drive for like 10, 15 minutes. Don't go long, don't go far. Make sure everything is bled. After, if it overheats, um, it's because you still have a little bit of air bubbles in it. Pull over, uh, let it cool down, do the process again. Sometimes it might take two or three times to do it. Um, once it's done and it sits for a while, next day you come and turn on the car check your fluid sometimes it might be bled right but you might be on the low side so you might have to add a little bit more coolant on it and avoid overheating that's the last thing you want while I'm at here I add it I'm gonna replace these bolts one of my blue ones gave out so I'm gonna put it on right now it has a white one on right now so what do you guys recommend keeping it blue or are actually keeping them white i'll turn them on right now to see to see how they look i'll probably do it at night too that way you can see them at night and tell me your suggestions on your comments below so i try to show you guys right now of the lights but my battery is completely dead lucky for me the battery is in the rear and tacos right here so i'm gonna jump start it right now and give you a quick cold start i know i know guys um i haven't been working on the celica but i do have parts for it so celica content is coming up so stay tuned for that so there it is we got power already now to start it up and give you a cold start i do have this is just a stock bumper uh, reason being is because I got a lot of parts in my garage and I don't know where to fit it and I also have my 15s uh, GTS rims with some slicks only the two only I have two slicks for the front that's it so let me give you a quick cold start hopefully it turns on super dead so i'm gonna give it a couple of minutes and i'll pick it up when those minutes are up so while we wait i'll show you how it looks that's the blue uh, parking light and this is the white one right here so i am going to show you at night i do have the old one the old one used to be more blue this is more like a baby blue i'll put it on right now and show you which one looks better or which one should I have on my car or which one do you recommend so this is the other one this one's more blue blue I don't know if you can tell um, and this is like baby blue so write down in the comments which one you like best do you like this one the dark blue one or the white ones on my car I, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys at night just waiting for it to get dark Time for that cold start. Hopefully, turn it on this time.
clean the system, let it warm up. See, it's still not at normal temperature. Be revving it to 2500. This is the baby blue. This one is like the dark blue. So clearly you can see them. Um, the light blue is actually a little bit brighter. Now I'm gonna take this one off and put a white one on it and see which one do you guys like the most. Do that. Turn on the high beams. When you turn on the high beams, you can't really tell that much. Um, so it's only when it's parking. So, down in the comments, please, what do you guys recommend? Baby blue, dark blue, or white? And that's it. Thanks for watching. Please like. I'm out.